Right, so heading into winter from autumn in the Waikato, one of the most um, important types of footwear that we have are gumboots. All right, going into carving, it's cold, it's wet, you're up to your knees in mud, you really need a good gumboot to uh, um, make life a little bit easier. As the old saying from Fred Dare goes, if it weren't for our gumboots, where would we be? So what makes a good gumboot and what's the, what's the best sort of gumboot for you? Uh, hard to really answer that one because people's foot types and shapes um, are different. Here's a fairly stereotypical um, type of gumboot that is uh, similar to the red band type of gumboot. Now being a podiatrist and also being off a farm, um, one of the things that I've noticed is that they have this funny heel on them. So it's a narrower heel and through the back than the actual upper part of where the foot sits in the gumboot. So that inherently makes it a little bit unstable because your foot's hanging off the side of the boot so it doesn't take a lot to stand on a stone or get a little bit off centre and you catch and roll your ankle. Now I had a patient come in and was raving about another type of gumboot which is the bikina gumboot. So this bikina gumboot um, has a different feature in that the actual heel of the uh, base of the a gumboot is incorporated into the sole so that your foot actually sits down into the boot a little more um, and that provides a more stable base for you to, uh, to sit into and to function on. These ones also have um, a steel plate through them if you want a protective pair um, and they also have a good quality nylon type uh, lining that comes up through the top. Um, so essentially a good quality gum boot that fits your, your foot well. Um, some of the scaler up type boots are a bit deeper and through this, this area here. I did find with the bikinas that they were a little bit snug for me around in this area but that um, eased up. What you will tend to find if you go for a more budget low quality boot is that the compartmentalized rubber base of the boot will wear quickly um, and will um, end up being like this. So it significantly compromises the, the life of the boot. So in summary, the things that we want is we want the boot to be intrinsically stable so that you're sitting down into it. We want it to be a good shape and a good representation of your foot. Uh, we want you to have a removable insole because that helps with the uh, smell in the middle of winter um, and it also helps keep it comfortable and have something to be able to take out and dry properly overnight. Um, we want it to be a reasonably good quality because it will be durable um, and we want the tread underneath and the length of the boot to be uh, fit for purpose as far as how deep the mud's going to be. So I hope those things will help with your selection of this winter's gumboots.